my name is Andrea. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm sharing how to make custom stockings for Christmas using Cricut. I'm starting off in Cricut Design Space, inserting a rectangle the size of the space I want my design to be. You could also click on templates and search for stocking, then adjust the size if needed. I uploaded a snowman SVG and I'm inserting it into my design. I don't want the arms on this snowman, so I'm inserting a rectangle shape and covering up this arm. Then I'm doing the same on the other side, but the rectangle doesn't fit quite as well on this side because of the proximity to the scarf. Instead, I'm using a heart shape to cover the arm. Now that both arms are covered up by shapes, I'm going to use the slice tool. I'm selecting the snowman outline from the menu on the right, along with the heart, then clicking slice. When slicing, you can only have two objects selected at one time. Now I can drag everything away and delete the parts I don't need. I'm doing the same thing on the other side, clicking the snowman outline and the rectangle, then clicking on slice. This snowman has a transparent background, but I want it to be white. I duplicated the snowman outline, then clicked on contour and clicked hide all contours. Now the snowman outline is a solid shape and I'm changing the color to white. I'm moving my solid white snowman over the original snowman, then sending it back. Now I'm grouping all the elements of the snowman together by selecting them all on the right hand side and clicking on group. Now I can adjust the snowman to be the exact size I want. I don't need this red rectangle anymore, so I will hide that. I'm also making a stocking with snowflakes, so I inserted a bunch of different designs and made them different sizes. And before I cut everything out, I changed the snowman's hat to blue. Since I'm ironing on these designs, I have to mirror all of them, going through each color and clicking mirror. Once they're all mirrored, click continue and select everyday iron on as the material. Starting with my snowflake design stocking, I'm cutting out the white vinyl. I measured how much I need, then I'm cutting a piece with my paper cutter. For iron on vinyl, you want to make sure to put the shiny side of the vinyl face down onto the mat. I'm pressing it down with my brayer tool and also my scraper tool just to make sure it's really stuck on the mat. I loaded the mat into my Cricut and now it's cutting the design. This is the stocking I'm using. I think it's made of felt. I just got it at Value Village. It's very similar to the ones they have at the dollar store. Now I'm weeding out all the white snowflakes. I didn't attach them together, so they all cut in rows. This saves a lot of vinyl doing it like that. I'm cutting out all the snowflakes manually, then placing them where I want them to go on the stocking. In today's video, I'm testing out the Viver heat press that they so kindly sent me. I wasn't quite sure what temperature to set the heat press to for this felt stocking. So I went with 300 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 seconds, but I think I should have made it hotter and for a little bit longer. This heat press was super easy to put together and has a lot of different attachments that I will definitely be testing out in future videos. While I'm waiting for that to heat up, I put the stocking on to the heat press. Then I swung it back over top of the stocking and once it was ready, pulled down on the handle to press the vinyl. You can see here the snowflakes are not sticking to the stocking after the first go. I didn't want to go too hot to start with just in case. I figured it was better to start a bit cooler and for less time, but I'm putting the stocking back on the heat press for a second go. This time the snowflakes stuck to the stocking just fine. And here is the finished snowflake stocking. I love how pretty and classic it looks. And of course you can also add a name to the top using a more iron-on vinyl. Now to make the snowman stocking. I'm cutting out the rest of the vinyl, starting with the black. I measured out how much I need, then cut it with my paper cutter. Again, when using the heat transfer vinyl, make sure to apply the shiny side face down onto the mat before loading it into the Cricut. For the rest of the colors, I'm using HTV Ront vinyl that they gifted to me. I'm using this beautiful red for the snowman's scarf. You'll notice this vinyl is a bit different than the white and the black that I used that had a shiny side and a matte side. This just has a colored side and a blank side. In this instance, place the vinyl so the color is facing down onto the mat. And of course, double check that you mirrored the design in Cricut Design Space before cutting it out. Next, I'm using orange heat transfer vinyl from HDV Ront for the carrot nose and a gorgeous blue for the hat. 
Both the orange and the blue vinyls have the shiny and matte sides, so just make sure to have the shiny side facing down. Now that all the vinyl is cut, I'm weeding out all the designs. I'm starting with the white section. This is going to be my first layer, then moving on to the rest of the colors. The black layer in particular has lots of tiny little details, so you wanna make sure you're weeding the correct parts. It is super helpful to look at the picture of the design that you're weeding out while you're weeding it, so you don't miss anything. And don't accidentally weed out parts that you actually wanted to keep. While I was reading the face of the snowman, one of his teeny tiny little eyebrows came loose. Luckily I did not lose it, but I continued pulling the rest of the vinyl off and then using this little weeder pen, I'm pushing the eyebrow back into place. Moving on to the red scarf. I had a lot of excess vinyl around this one, so I'm cutting it out to be a little bit closer to the design. Lastly, I weeded out the tiny little carrot nose and the top hat. Since I'll be pressing the design in multiple layers, I don't want to press for too long or for too hot for each layer. I set the heat press to 300 degrees for 3 seconds to start for the first layer. I'm placing my white snowman layer onto the stocking. I'm placing the stocking onto the heat press, then swinging the top plate back over and pressing down with the handle. The nice thing about this is as soon as you pull down the handle, the timer starts. I'm pulling the carrier sheet off and you can see the vinyl stuck pretty well to the stocking for the first layer. Next is the black outline layer. I'm lining it up with the bottom layer as best as possible, then placing the stocking back onto the heat press plate. I increased the time to 5 seconds this time, although I think maybe I should have kept it at the 3. When layering, you really want to press each layer for as short a time as possible since you are going to be going over them again and again. I pressed it, then took it off the heat press and peeled off the carrier sheet. For the final layer, I'm adding the red section of the scarf, the blue hat, and the carrot nose. At the moment, some parts of the snowman are exposed and we never want to heat press straight onto vinyl. You can use parchment paper or a Teflon sheet to protect the vinyl. I am reusing the carrier sheet from the whole snowman because it does cover everything up. For the final press, I changed the time to 20 seconds because I had seen other tutorials saying to do the final press for longer when you're doing these layered projects. I would say to start with a smaller amount of time. This ended up being a little bit too much time for my project and did cause some wrinkling in the vinyl. If anyone has any tips for ironing on projects with multiple layers, please do let me know because I definitely want to make a lot more projects like this. This is how the final stocking turned out. I think this snowman is just so cute. And I'm just thinking of all the different things you can do with different characters to personalize them for everyone in your family. Subscribe for more videos like this and I'll see you next time.